All right, it's Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna to cook up El Chifo package of ramen noodles, but we're gonna make a complete meal with it, a fancy pants meal with just four ingredients. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my eggs started. I've already got my water boiling, and I just reduced it down to a simmer. Now I'm going to gently ease it into the water, and then raise it back up to a simmer, and we're going to soft boil this egg and it's going to make all the difference in this dish but we're going to want to be careful because you know we want the yolk to be runny so we got to check our time 5 13 which means that i want to have this egg out of the hot water by 5 18 5 18 to 5 19 is good for me once it gets past that then the yolk's going to start to solidify up and I want it to be running so that it mixes with my uh, noodle water and creates this creamy, dreamy, luxuriant noodle bath. And I've got an ice water bath here ready to throw the egg in there when I take it out of the water so that it will stop cooking. But let's go ahead and prep these other ingredients, which isn't going to take a lot of time. Now this is just one green onion one of my four ingredients, but I'm going to treat it like two ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and take the green onion tops and I'm going to give those a little bit of chop and we're going to use this kind of as a garnish at the end of the meal. It's going to be a nice flavor, it's going to be a nice color. And then the white stalk, I'm going to go ahead and cut that into some little slivers and we're going to actually cook this in the noodle water a little bit. And this is going to add a nice flavor and it's going to add a nice texture. Got my spinach ready here. And for the ramen noodles, I'm just going to take my flavor pack out here. And we'll use this in a little bit. And this is all the seasoning I'm going to need for the meal. You know, and there's, and I'm not even going to use this whole thing because there's too much salt. There's too much flavor in there. And I'm just going to give this a boom, a crack. You know, you can smash it up as much as you like. This is like the noodles that college kids live off of. Oh yeah. But you know, if you add some uh, spinach and an egg in here, it's going to be like a complete meal. All right, so it's 516, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my noodles in here because this is one pot dish. So everything is going to go in this one pot. And I wish I had a smaller pot. You know, this is a little bit bigger than I would like. You know, I'm going to have to drain some of the water off. But we're house-sitting. The pots we got are the pots we got. So boom, boom, boom. If you like this video, hey, give it a thumbs up. If you, uh, what's the other thing, the bell notification thing? What time did I start coming out? 13. I think I'm getting the old timers. <laughs> now while my water's still hot, I'm going to go ahead and throw my uh, onion stalks in here. Boom, boom, boom. Go get those stirred around a little bit. Let me show you all these eggs I got in the fridge. <laughs> See all of these eggs? Buck has a compulsion. Yeah, we got lots of eggs. So the egg that I have in that pot is one of the oldest eggs. Ding, ding, from ding, the fridge ding, ding, because you want to use your oldest egg. It's 518. Was that how long I want it to go? Yes. I just can't remember these numbers. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take my egg that I've had boiling in here. And since I want it to be soft boiled, I'm going to go ahead and take it out right now and throw it in this ice bath. Hey, I want one of those after being under the camera lights. <laughs> and then that way, you know, it'll stop the cooking process. And that way we won't overcook our egg and I'll have a nice runny yolk. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my water off. Boom. Or I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off of my water. And I'm going to go ahead. Well, actually, this is a little bit more uh, water than I want. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drain off some of this water. And if you're using a smaller pot, you won't have to fool with this here. But I don't need all of this water in here. And I'm going to strain it in here so I don't lose, uh, so I don't lose too many of my noodles. Oh. And then that way I'll have uh, plenty of liquid so it'll be kind of soupy. Get it over here. I'm going to add my flavor pack, or part of my flavor pack. I don't want to put the whole thing in here, because then that's too much. I can't hack it. I'm just a man. Get this stirred around in here, throw my spinach in there. And like I said, I've got the heat off. And then that's all there is to this part of the dish. Now while this sits here in this hot water, we'll come over here and we'll go ahead and peel our egg. Give it a smash. Give it a crack. Subdue it. And then I'm going to peel it into water. It'll be easier to peel. I haven't lived a lot, you know, just a half a century. <laughs> but over the course of that time, I found that uh, most things are easier to do when you do them underwater. What? You might want to... 
<laughs> qualify that one. I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, I think I put too much ice in here. My, I can't feel my hands. And the egg feels very soft. I mean, if you don't want a creamy, dreamy egg in your ramen noodles... You're crazy. Then you can... Well, yes, you are crazy. But you can also just uh, boil your egg a little longer and have a hard-boiled egg in there. But I don't know why you would do that. Oh, my egg's falling oh, apart. That's all right. I'll eat that part. But now you can sort of see... We can sort of see the inner workings of the egg. So the white is all cooked through, but the, but the yolk is still soft. And the scientific uh, term for the white is albumin. But let me put my egg right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw my ramen in this bowl. Come over here just in case I have an accidente. You're so smart. Boom, boom, boom. So there we go. We'll spread it out so it looks uh, particularly attractive. Set our egg in there. Boom, boom, boom. I'll take my fancy pants green doohickeys and put them all on top. And there you have it. Then you do like a bullfighting move. Hey! Just like that, and then you just tear it apart. Look at that creamy dreamer yolk. Stir it around in there, get that yolk mixed up with your noodle water. And there you have it. A complete meal, four ingredients. Creamy dreamy, some nice uh, cooked egg in there with a little bit of yolk to give it a great. richness that you would find at a fancy pants hipster ramen noodle restaurant. Let's see, I could eat a bite of this right now. Ah! But then the inside of my mouth would uh, I wouldn't taste the rest of it, so I can't have a bite of it. Cool down to a temperature that I can handle. It's amazing what a difference, you know, having that creamy yolk in there is. But if you want to print this recipe, head on over to MyFoodChannel.com. You can print all our recipes there. Go give it a thumbs up. Like it. Subscribe. Share. And we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's hard to look cool eating noodles. But somehow I do it.